Hi, my name is Musa and I'm part of the content team at AP Magazine. In today's video, I'm going to walk through settings that I've found to be really useful when shooting an autofocus using the Sony SM4. I'm a wedding and portrait and event photographer and so I find that focus is something that's very important and something I'm always trying to improve on. Now these are settings that I've used and that work for me and that can be changed and adapted for different scenarios and setups. So I'm hoping that this might be useful to you. So with me today, I do have my Sony SM4 and I've attached a Ninja Atmos on it so I can record my screen and we can go through the settings together. Let's get into it. So the first thing I look at is my focus area. And if I go into my menu, um, go into my focus area, which is the second option. It, there are a couple of options that you have there. You've got wide, you've got zone, center fix, you've got your flexible spot, you've got an expanded flexible spot, and you've got the tracking expanded spot. So what I typically use for events, weddings, and you know, instances where I know there's motion and my subject's gonna move or I'm gonna move around is to use the flexible spot. That allows me to use my tracking pad to find the area that I want to focus. So for example, I'm just gonna see if I can focus on Jessie's eye. Right there, I've got her face in focus. And if I move my tracker just down there and there, I've got my camera in focus. So being able to move around my focus spot and my focus area really easily makes me makes it easier for me to find focus and to be able to capture what I need to capture right on the moment. The second thing I look at is my focus mode settings. So we're going to go back into the settings and if we go into the first option, which is in that purple tab, the focus mode. So you've got options as well. You've got single AF, automatic AF, continuous AF, DMF and manual focus. Now, all of those options exist for different reasons, but I'm just gonna focus on why I use what I use, which is the continuous autofocus. If you're shooting weddings, events, and people in general, and there's chance that your subject is gonna move or you're gonna move with the camera, you definitely want to have that option to continuously find focus, which is what continuous autofocus gives you. So still in the focus mode area, um, where it says priority sets in AF, S or AFC, I just keep it in balanced mode. Um, it makes, it helps me capture my photos in focus and I've never really changed those settings. Um, and that works for me in weddings and events. If you're shooting anything else, you might wanna look that up. Um, and going down to autofocus tracking sensitivity. Now that's something that you wanna look at and change. So you've got the option of one, two, three, four, five five being the most responsive and this is um, relating to the speed at which your camera changes focus from one subject to another. Say you've got a group of people um, and some movement so you want to maybe capture someone who's in the back and you've got something else in the foreground. That responsiveness of when you change your focus um, that is where that tracking sensitivity comes in. So I keep it at four because five is pretty fast um, and four is fast but still smooth enough to look normal um, and that works for me for weddings and events so in my menu I've got that set on four. One of the settings that I do look at is the Aperture Drive AF um, which if it comes in your camera the default is standard and you want to set that to focus priority. The reason for this is that it will actually help you when you're shooting in low light situations and your aperture is quite high. So you know when your camera is struggling to find focus, say you're shooting in a pretty dark setup and your camera is like really struggling to find focus, when you have your aperture drive set to focus priority, what your camera does is it opens your aperture wide enough to find that focus and then capture the photo. Now it does come with that um, warning when you change it, which I'll show you. It says that, um, the sound of the aperture drive may be audible and the aperture value may not be displayed on the screen. So you will definitely hear the aperture drive changing when it's finding that focus and you won't be able to see the actual aperture settings on your display or your viewfinder because it's opening just wide enough to let enough light to find focus 
um, but what it does do when you then capture the photo when you do look back at it it will have all the right settings that you have so this is just something that's minor that you just need to know it doesn't really change your photography as much but it does help when you're shooting in low light situations one of the great things about the sony cameras and the sony is so in particular is its great eye auto tracking focus so let's get into the settings and just make sure they're on and i'll show you a hidden little secret that you might want to switch on for your camera so if we go into the menu again into the eye face and eye autofocus you've got your face and eye priority and autofocus turned on the face and eye subject turned to human and when it comes to the right or left eye i mean you can select whether you want the left eye or the right eye to be the priority but i just turn it to auto so it will pick which eye is in focus and the hidden setting is on the face and eye frame display so if i turn the face eye frame display on what it should do is once I have my camera set and I'm looking for folks, it already has picked up her face and you can see that gray square around her face. So that just helps me again, be able to really focus on Jessie and be able to get make sure that her face is actually in focus. Um, and there it's tracked her eye. So yeah, these are settings that I use to um, make sure I have my subjects in focus when I'm shooting events and weddings. And I'd love to hear from you. What settings do you have on your camera um, in terms of really using that autofocus on your camera? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you remember to like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more educational videos or discussion videos like these. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.